Okay, maybe this time we'll get it right. Welcome back to the big board. I'm looking at Jaws of Victory. It's a top turn three, and we're gonna have a chat about supply and one of the challenges that the Soviets face here <clears throat> with the degradation of their supply lines over time. So uh, supply is traced from hex edges that have a supply symbol on it. And basically the supply unit, so where did that 50, uh, here we go. Fourth guard unit here, this is the supply vehicle, has a range of 10 in frozen weather. And you put this on the map, 10 hexes away from the supply source and you will uh, get your full allocation of four every turn. And then as you advance, here's 10, the 10 hex line right here. If I move to here, say one hex further past that 10 line, uh, that 10 hex line, that's called an increment. And in anywhere between there and the next 10 hexes, so all the way over to here on our left, I'm just gonna not knock the units too badly, up to, up to and including this hex, I will still get three uh, supply points. If I go over one more hex and into the next increment, I'm gonna drop down to two supply points. <clears throat> Excuse my reach there. So, Okay, each, each uh, formation, each army receives two of those counters. And so they get a total of eight that's degraded by increment over time, depending on how far they advance. Put that in context of what they need to achieve. So Core Sun is here. We're trying to block areas like this, areas like this, areas like this which are, uh, that would be uh, dropping down to two, uh, I believe, or even one, uh, I think one here. Let me just get one, two, three. Yes, I would lose three here if I, if I put a, a supply truck here on a road, but I can throw from where the truck is forward 10 hexes. So really this is probably, this is probably the furthest I'll need to, I'll need to roll. Uh, and then I'll, I'll be able to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'll be able to get within <clears throat> a pretty broad range with a couple of these armies, cover these areas and block the supply lines for the Germans because we've got to capture these terminals because that's what the Germans use to count their, their range. Their ranges are much shorter. It's six hexes and four hexes versus 10 hexes and and eight hexes, right? Uh, so, well, what's the big deal about that, Kevin? You're saying, okay, well, uh, in order to conduct an attack, if I wish to use the full combat strength of the unit and artillery and or assault engineers and or air, it must be a supported attack. And in order for it to be supported, I have to use a point. So I would have to rotate that down to one. And I would then flip over, I would take my artillery guys that I used. Actually, let me keep, just put a, heck, a little, Mark down to keep track of these guys. I would put, uh, I would flip these little chappies here over, <clears throat> and they would uh, they would be used for that turn. So they can't use them twice, and I also can't. Um, what am I trying to say here? Uh, I, I know that I've uh, I've consumed. Uh, they've been used in a supported attack. So at the beginning of the next turn. I'm gonna receive my truck, it's gonna be full, it's gonna have four in it, and then I'm gonna say, huh, I wanna, I wanna fix these guys so that they can be used again, because I'm right in the middle of an offensive, I'm gonna flip that, those two guys over for two supply points. So I'm gonna take that four and reduce it down to two. And then depending on where I place it on the map, I'm gonna decrement it by one if it's here, by two if it's here, or by three of it's here. Well, I can't do that. I actually can do that. I can just put it down like that and it won't be able to support any attacks. But if I put it here, it'll be able to support one attack. So I could then attack with one set of units, not one hex, but one set of units. And these particular artillery pieces or other artillery pieces that had not been used in the prior turn, I could use them in an attack. So what does that do? What that does, it's, a, it's an interesting 
leash on the Soviet uh, system, uh, attack and momentum, <clears throat> but it's also, and it's not too fiddly either. So you, you just, you're literally picking the place where you put it, you count the hexes out, work out how many you're going to get to keep, and then you, you know, decrease this every time you use it. So it, it is clean and efficient. But somewhere along the way here, we're going to get to the point, keeping in mind, we're doing the same thing from this side, and this side is going to lose one from here, and then a second once the supply crosses here. And I imagine that this is probably as far as they would get, and this is not here, by the way. I was trying to record this video earlier on, and the phone destroyed itself. Uh, so, you know, we're going to lose one here. So these guys will probably get three all these guys will probably get three supply uh, from two of these, so six total uh, per turn per army. And these guys are going to get somewhere between two, sorry, between, uh, well, between four and six per army. There's a lot of artillery for these formations. And so my point here is I'm not sure that it wouldn't have just been easier to say, I don't know, once you get to a certain line in the, the line in the sand here, as they say, uh, you can only do one supported attack per turn versus having to do this, you know, double checking and counting all the time. Uh, it seems to be a pretty onerous leash on the Russians, but maybe then again, if it's there's not an onerous leash, this game's over a lot sooner than it should be. And keep in mind that this is daily turns, so. It's a slow, incremental battle. It's highly attritional in nature. So I get it. I'm just wondering whether this was, uh, A, if I'm playing it right. <laughs> so hopefully I am. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's starting to feel a little bit fiddly and not contrived, but I'm struggling with the fact that I'm starting out with some level of supply that's full. And then because I put the truck somewhere where it needs to be, I uh, go to half, uh, I go to half strength or I can't attack uh, with multiple formations. I can only attack with, I can only do one attack per army group. Uh, now maybe, uh, you know, and of course, what, so, so here's what happens, right? Is if I do, a, let's say I do a full strength attack here and I'm, and I'm using these units, and they're supporting this attack and all these guys, assuming these were all from the same army, all these guys were involved in that attack. Well, I'd have to attack these guys as well. Otherwise, these guys are halved, funnily enough. You know, it's the screening flanking effect to stop these guys from interfering with this attack. Well, in order to attack that, I'm going to have to pull some guys up and attack it maybe from this hex. That attack is more than likely going to have to be an unsupported attack, which means I'll be halved. And which means because I would be attacking from across this river, I would be halved again. So it would be a quarter of the strength. So it'd go from say a full strength uh, infantry division is 20. So it might drop down to uh, as low as five, which is pretty nasty if I'm coming in uh, against this guy, for instance, with seven, I'm automatically at one to two. I may get it back up one to one uh, or maybe two to one with some supporting units, but it's a, it's a really tough attack to make. Now, if I, I if I put more units in here and uh, against this uh, unit here and supported it here, well, guess what? If I don't support this attack, that's fine. I'll be halved. But now I'm adjacent to this guy. He's going to be halved because he he's adjacent to this guy. So we're going to have to attack this guy. So you can see all of a sudden I'm making a lot of unsupported attacks and it's going to increase the loss rate for the Soviets. Uh, significantly be because at the one to two, one to one, one, to, well, if you have to do one to three attacks, you're in a lot of trouble here. Uh, you're losing a step in nearly every result by two or three per, per column of results. So it does matter significantly uh, how this supply is fed into the system and how many you have. So it's all well and good in this area ish. Uh, once past here, we're losing one. So I'm going to have six per turn to play with here to keep all this armor, all this armor, all this artillery fed. There's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there's at least five, maybe more. There's another one, six. 
there's six uh, artillery units, seven artillery units, eight artillery units already, uh, and I've got to obviously pick and choose very carefully with those. So it's an interesting system, interesting mechanic. Don't really know if I like it or not. Don't know if I don't like it. I, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just sharing my opinions or my my uh, my reflections here extemporaneously, I guess, and uh, seeing how things all, uh, we'll see what happens in turn three, as we are now going to be needing to push, be pushing these uh, H, these uh, supply factors up into this range here. So, all very interesting, ciao.